How's it going, everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest and the greatest gaming news. Today, I'm going to be breaking down a recent discovery that I made involving Bethesda Game Studios and a current development timeline of both The Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield. Using this information, we can more easily pinpoint what the current status of Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6 is, and then on top of this, we can go a step further and also get some additional insight into what particular game elements that Bethesda will be paying closer attention to regarding both of these games. Remember though, although this piece of evidence that'll be breaking down in today's video is legit and tied directly to Bethesda Game Studios, anything beyond that should still be considered speculation, especially when it comes to Bethesda Game Studios because it's pretty difficult to narrow down what this studio is going to do. Once you think you have them figured out, they generally surprise you and not always in a good way. As far as today's information goes, we're going to start our adventure right here at the most recent job listings posted directly by Bethesda Game Studios located located in Maryland. Their Maryland location is a specific Bethesda Game Studios location working on Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6. Bethesda Game Studios Austin is working on Fallout 76 for example, and all of these job postings went up fairly recently. And although initially it may not seem like you could get much information from job postings like these, you actually can, at least when it comes to speculation, as job postings offer a unique sneak peek into the secretive inner workings of Bethesda and other development studios. And the listing that I'm going to be breaking down in today's video is this one right here for a UI programmer, a position which basically involves programming, designing, and creating the user interface, inventory menus, how to navigate all of these menus, and so on for the game. And as I said earlier, this posting is for Bethesda Game Studios in Maryland specifically, so it will directly have to do with Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6 and not Fallout 76, otherwise it would be for their Bethesda Game Studios Austin location. Starfield is almost certainly in its final bug testing and polishing stages, I'm pretty sure it has been for a while. It's a good thing they're taking so long to polish and bug test the game, knowing how often their games are pretty badly bugged. But with that in mind, I doubt that any major changes will be made to Starfield's user interface at this point in time, especially when it comes to being a new hire within Bethesda. So with that in mind, I believe this listing would most likely directly involve The Elder Scrolls 6, as it seems to be in full development right now, and in fact, this UI job posting further supports that theory, especially when you remember Todd Howard's stating way back in 2018 that Starfield was in its final stages of development even way back then. Of course, we don't know how much the current global situation could have affected Starfield's initial release date. Both Starfield and thus The Elder Scrolls 6 could have had their prospective release dates pushed back due to the global pandemic. In fact, if we look a little deeper into this job posting, we can discover that it went up within a day before the time that I uploaded this video. And if we keep looking even deeper than this, we can discover that last year around the same exact time, way before the current virus was an issue, Bethesda posted this UI job posting back in June 2019. This is a sign of one of two possible things. The first being that this 2019 UI job posting was initially for Starfield, and that the user interface for Starfield was fully finished and polished up between 2019 and 2020 or even still happening right now. That doesn't seem as likely though. Or the second option is that this could be a sign that the development timeline for The Elder Scrolls 6 even back in 2019 was at the stage in which Bethesda needed to hire more UI programmers. Only this development was then slowed down due to the global situation. Only recently it seems that Bethesda is actively hiring developers again, meaning they must have returned to full development status, at least for the most part. Even if people are still working from home, they might be able to still work on The Elder Scrolls 6, and if they still aren't able to work on their games as effectively due to the global situation, then I wouldn't expect Bethesda to be posting these types of job listings directly related to game development. As for what this posting could mean for The Elder Scrolls 6 specifically, well, <laughs> it's kind of obvious. Bethesda wants to pay a little extra attention to the development and design of the user interface, which is a good thing as the interfaces of Skyrim, Fallout 4, and even Fallout 76 all felt a bit outdated, even for the current generation of gaming technology. And with the game menus themselves having their share of annoying and somewhat game-breaking bugs, if Bethesda wants Starfield and The Elder Scrolls 6 to truly feel like next-gen titles, and if they want to truly show off what they have to offer the gaming community in terms of their next phase of open-world RPGs, then they definitely need to make the UI, inventory menus, and all of the other user interfaces feel new, easy to use, polished, and feel accurate and responsive. What I'm saying is I don't want to have to download a mod so that my character says the dialogue option that I have highlighted, for instance. I want things to just work, and if Bethesda is leveling up the other aspects of their next-gen game engine like I expect them to be doing, then they would need to 
build an entire new user interface from the ground up basically anyway, which would explain the need for these UI programmer job postings. Remember though, although these job postings are legit and although they do offer direct insight into what Bethesda has going on behind closed doors, most of this information discussed in today's video should still be considered speculation, as Bethesda hasn't announced or confirmed most of this information quite yet. In fact, they don't talk about anything most of the time anyway, which is why we gotta dig deep like this in order to find anything there is to feed that hype. I am fairly confident that everything I stated in this video is accurate though, and I look forward to seeing what Bethesda tries to do when it comes to making improvements and revamping their next-gen game user interfaces. I have faith that they will do a decent job as this position makes it pretty apparent that they are at least aware of their current UI issues. That finishes up today's video though. As always, what I want to know is what do you think about all of this? Let me know what you think about this UI programmer speculation down in the comments below, and if your comment wins the internet, you make it featured in a future video. Be sure to like the video if you enjoy the content, and if you want to stay in the know when it comes to the latest gaming news, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you don't miss the latest uploads. Follow me over on Twitter for other news that doesn't quite make it into my videos, as well as other channel updates, and check for links down in the description below for official Skullzy merchandise, the Skullzy Discord community chat server, and if you want to have your hand in providing future content, there are links on how to be an exclusive channel member here on YouTube, over on Patreon, or over at Coffee as well. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when the Elder Scrolls 6 doesn't have a UI interface, because it will absorb your very essence into the game world itself. Ooh, spooky fun time, or, or maybe spooky not so fun time. Depends on your definition of sp spooky fun. That was stupid.